Hello, can I help you? Have you come to read the meter? No. We had I've, it done last week. I'm sorry, John. It, uh, Oof, he knows um, your name. Yeah, because you... You're not the coal man, are you? Because we, we don't have coal anymore. Have you forgotten you invited me here? Chaz Hodges, <gasps> Chaz and Dave. Oh, of course. How are you doing, so I'm John? sorry, Chaz. Please come. Come in through the conservatory. OK, mate. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, well, the series is officially underway now. So let's play the opening music. Luckily, my daughter Karen's tape recorder is right here. Just press play. From the comfort of my Sheffield home, I'm delighted to appear. By the miracle of radio, I trust I'm loud and clear. Music, chat and this and that, designed to make you tick. It's John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Did you like that, listeners? There'll be many more jingles of that calibre throughout the show. Uh, a brand new series f- starring myself, John Shuttleworth, versatile singer organist. And each week I shall be inviting a celebrity musical guest to perform in my lounge. Later in the show, we shall be meeting my next door neighbour and sole agent, Ken Worthington, who of course came last on New Faces in 73. Nice. Mm. Though not yet here, Ken will shortly be leaving his home and travelling to my conservatory for the item Ken in the conservatory. Yeah, I've just seen him leave his house, love. Oh, yeah, Mary, Just please. Coming now. Trying to do it the intro. Oh, sorry. Yeah, thank you. Well, you know, you should have said, <sighs> not a mind reader. But in the meantime, back to our main guest of the evening, Chaz Hodges of Chaz and Dave. Now, Chaz. Yeah. I see you made yourself comfortable on the on the wicker furniture. Yeah, in the very, conservatory. Very comfortable. Yeah. yeah, home from home. It's, but if you don't mind, you know, this show's called John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. All right. So can we j- just go through to the lounge? Sure, yeah, fine. Bring your guitar. Anyway, come into the lounge. Uh, OK. Take a pew. Lovely. Oh, so where's Dave? He's... Uh, Is he poorly? No, no, he's not. He was, I don't know if you know, he he, um, he builds caravans, gypsy caravans, and he he had to finish... He was right in the middle of it, and uh, yeah. it, I, I called him. I said, you're coming down. He said, to give John my full apologies, but I must finish this. And he does some really beautiful work on caravans. I don't know if you've ever seen any uh, stuff that he does, like gold leaf and yeah. uh, the carving oh. and the paint. But he, he's, there's no one to touch him, actually. I've seen a few caravans oh. in my time, and he's the tops. Right. Well, what we thought later on, uh, we're going to prepare some traditional Cockney fare yeah. for you. Okay. But there'll be no jelly deals. Mary don't want them in the fridge. Why not? Well, I don't know, a bit smelly, aren't they? I don't, I don't smell. If you, if you, yeah, and this is a fact, if you can you buy a bowl of jelly deals, if you can smell anything, put them in the bin. Oh. Because they do not smell of anything. <gasps> uh, you put Mary, the... did you hear that? Mm, yeah. Oh. Would you like a cup of tea? I would love a cup of tea. Yeah, all right. I'd love a cup of tea. Well, uh, I'll just have a quick word with my wife, Mary. Lovely. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, no sugar. Oh, right. And not too milky. No. Lovely. Like a Cockney would have it. Well, but of course, yeah. 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 But you're not a Cockney, are you? But... Well, um, my dad was a Cockney. He came from Acne. But well, I was... Mary, cup of tea, please, for Charles. No sugar, <clears throat> not too milky. All right. And I'll have a hot chocolate, please. <laughs> well, yeah. We'll see about that. Oof. Right, uh, sorry, Chaz, you were saying? Uh, my dad was a Cockney, he, was, he comes from Ac- came from Acne. I was born in Edmonton, um, North Middlesex Hospital, so uh, I'm a North Londoner. Right. Is it right that, that the Beatles supported you? How can that be right? That is right. Um, uh, I was in a band called The Outlaws, and uh, we had a bit of a hit, and we went out on the road, and um, they supported us on one of the gigs that we did. Did they? And um, you worked with him and all, didn't you, Jerry Lee yeah, Lewis? Yeah, yeah. And um, you've not brought your piano today, but it, perhaps it's because you've destroyed it. Why did he used to stamp on his piano? That's terrible. Well, to do it that. was. But he, that, let's Awful. see, um, when, when I was touring with him, I mean, he was. Uh, I always quote that Jerry Lee Lewis taught me the piano, which he did really, but. Did he teach you to stamp all over the keys? No, no, it was just me watching him, but I wasn't. You notice I've got my keyboard here, Chaz, and please, I would ask you not to no, no, uh, no, to jump no, on it if you, no. if you want to borrow it for later. John, now let, let me finish the story. Yeah, all right. 
I was, was, worried, it was just, uh, yes, he did. He used to jump on the piano at the end of the night. And, of course, all the press and all the um, dumb folk that would come to see him said, oh, I love it when he jumps on the piano. Now, I hated that bit. That was the worst part of the show. I want to see him play the piano, yeah. not jump on it. Right. So it's looking impressive, your CV, because I just noticed that, you know, uh, all these people, I've not heard of half of them. Black Claw. Black Claw, but yeah. But have you worked with Black Lace? See, I'd be more impressed by that. Uh, no, I've seen them on the old Top of the Pops. Well, we but, all have. Uh, yeah, but no, Fantastic. I've ne ne never, uh, never worked get, with do, them. Do. Yeah. Is That's that a bit that, like uh, Snooker Loop, isn't it? Is that where they got it from, wasn't it? I don't know. They must have nicked it off um, us. Snooker Loop, peanuts, are we? <clears throat> Mary. Right. <sighs> Mary's come in with the uh, tea things. Shall I put these here, then? Oh, yes, please, love. That's yours, Chaz. Thank you very much, yeah. darling. You're welcome. How's the Cockney Fair, Mary, that but, you're, you're promising for well, Chaz? Is that is no, that coming on? No, it's not, love. Ooh. I'm afraid <clears throat> we've not had time. And Joan Chitty's just come. She's had an asthma attack. Ooh. Uh, she's got a better wear catalogues that need delivering, and I'm going to have to help her out. Mary. Yeah, all right, mm. Joan. I'm coming. Mm. Yeah, just so we're getting no... I'm uh, thinking, so I, I don't know if I believe it or not. I mean, suddenly, I'm sorry, Charles. you know, I've got no jelly deals because I don't like the smell of them. Well, yeah. good jelly deals don't smell yeah. anyway. Did you hear that, Mary? Yes. They don't smell. They do. Yes, they do. Oh. Joan. Yeah. And, and also, uh, it can't, uh, we're not having any, I'm not having any food at all. Mary, can, oh, she got a coat on. I'm popping out with Joan to help her deliver these catalogues. Hiya, John. All right, Joan. Are you feeling better? Not really. Hello, darling. I'm Joan. All right, nice, nice to see you, Joan. <laughs> Chas, why don't you have a pot noodle? All right. No, I'll wait. No, I'll, oh. I'll get, I'll get well, a takeaway on the way out. Oh, Chas, I'm really sorry. Come on. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> now, uh, you're going to sing a song for us shortly, aren't you, Chas? Lovely. But firstly, I'm going to play you a brand new song of mine. Good. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Sometimes we do fall out with the nearest and dearest. Yeah. And sometimes we just don't get on with them. And with that in mind, here's a song all about me relatives in Rotherham. Oh, good. Sounds yeah. good, yeah. A bit like Chas and Dave style, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I like it already. Relatives in Rotherham We don't see a lot of them Tend not to bother them those relatives in Rotherham And when they come to our house The hours we have to suffer them The biscuits we have to offer them Those relatives in Rotherham Oh, relatives in Rotherham We don't see a lot of them Tend not to bother them Those relatives in Rotherham when Cousin Lynn had a baby We had to go and visit them Be hugging and a kissing them Pretending we'd been missing them That's right. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Good. The love you feel for your kids and wife Keeps you going through this life But the love you feel for the family That you don't live with well, it's relative. Oh, solo. Oh, cocked it up. That's good. I wouldn't have known, see? Never make excuses. And when they come to our house, the hours we have to suffer them, the biscuits we have to offer them, those relatives in rather rum. Key change, relatives in rather rum. We don't see a lot of them. Tend not to bother them, those relatives in rather rum. Relatives in rather rum. Relatives in rather rum. Hey. Like hey, that. You like that? The drummer's after a raise. He put a bit extra at the end there, <laughs> didn't he? He did. John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Oh. Ken. Hello. 
this is my next door neighbour and sole agent, Chaz, Ken Worthington. Hi, Chaz. Hello, Ken. How you doing? Hey! Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been talking to your pal, John. Hey! Don't be silly, Ken. And why are you dressed like that? Like what? In a funny spangly tunic. I'm a pearly king. Do you not recognise the outfit? I did. I did. Oh. Well, it's a bit noisy, your outfit, Ken. Rattling, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Did you get that from uh, from Barbara? Uh, from the Amdram? I might have done. Very nice, Ken, but too noisy for the radio. Oh. Please make your way now to the conservatory and wait for me to come to do the item Ken in the conservatory. All right. <laughs> yeah, see you in a bit, Ken. Bye. <laughs> right, Chaz, drink your tea. I will uh, do. Well, if you want to, you don't have to. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm enjoying my tea, yeah. <clears throat> Making you um, do something you don't want to. But, no, lovely. Well, I have to, because you see, Chaz... Uh, oh, press the tape recorder again. Uh, so our Karen's this, but she, don't, she has MP3 now. Right. Yeah. But, oh, here's the jingle. Your turn to be a turn, respect from me to earn. Don't wriggle like a worm, don't go bright red and squirm. It's your turn to be a turn. Like it? Is that, that that for me? Is it my turn to be well, a turn? It's for every guest that we have each All week. Right. This week it's you, Chaz. Chaz Hodges. What song will you play, please? I think um, a little bit of London Girls sounds about right. What do you think? Hang on, can I just? Would you like to borrow a, a keyboard? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to use the fun rhythm. Look, there you go. <sighs> hey. That's all right. I'll get, I'll get away with it, I reckon. <laughs> Why does it sound better when you play it? Well, uh, well, I was uh, I was taught by Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> I see. Some people sing about Deutsche girls, a girl from California. Might be all right, all right for a night, but don't trust him, I warn ya. I've been to the east and I've been out west and I've been all the world around. I ain't seen none come anywhere near the girls from a London town. Give me a London girl every time. I gotta find what I made up my mind. Give me a London girl every time. I want a London girl. From a London town, you know you can trust them. They'll don your socks and wash and mend your trousers if you bust them. They're all good cooks and they've got good looks and they won't lead you no dance. I'm a gonna find me a London girl if I get half a chance. Give me a London girl every time. I gotta find what I made up my mind. Give me a London girl every time I want a London girl Now if you ever go down to London town Your legs will turn to jelly Cause the girls down there, I swear They're just like models off a telly They don't need no makeup They look good as they are and they've always got a pound to buy their round when his hair turn up the bar. <laughs> Give me a London girl every time. I gotta find what I made up my mind. Give me a London girl every time. I want a London. All together now, everybody sing. Give me a London girl every time. I gotta find what I made up my mind. Give me a London girl every time. I want a London girl. Yep, so well done, right. John. It was good. Thank you. That was lovely. Yeah. And there'll be more music from Chaz later on when uh, he sings one of my songs. Great. Lovely. Yeah. But, yes, that was excellent. Indeed it was.
Ken, how you doing? I'm all right. all right. Yes, I was listening from the conservatory. What What? What do you think? Oh, Ooh. excellent. Good, good lad, um, good lad. In fact, I've heard and seen enough to feel confident in offering you a place in my stable. <gasps> Ooh. In fact, I'd like to put you straight to work on a tour that's playing the East Midlands, uh, starting in Sleaford. Yeah. And we're, um, we're right out to Mablethorpe, and we're coming back. Um, Ooh. Jell at the row. Yeah, who it... does finger picking? She'll be uh, you'll be playing with her. Mm. Okay, yeah. um, Charles, listen, yes, yes, let's not make any decisions today. A right, good idea, yeah, good yeah. idea, Ken. Yes, in fact, please return now to the conservatory in readiness for your item. I don't want to, John. Pardon, I feel isolated in there, do you? And my buttons keep getting caught in the wicker furniture. Oh, besides, I've decided I'd like to make Charles some traditional cockney fare. Well, you know, I don't think Mary would be too happy, Ken, about you going in our kitchen. No, she won't, man. Can you cook? Don't be cheeky. But don't worry, Chaz, I'll make a nice meal. Can. Right. Pie and mash. Oh. Traditional cockney fare. Lovely job. OK. Yes. I'm not going to uh, sneeze at that. Pie and mash and a bit of the old uh, well, chilli vinegar and... Unless you pepper. put too much pepper on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah could then, you, then you'd sneeze, wouldn't you? Well, I would. Yeah, you're dead right there. Yeah. John Shuttleworth's Lounge Music. Ken, um, you know, he's got a bit of a cheek offering you a tour, and I appreciate you just having a laugh, but he'll take you seriously, and he'll want to represent you. Between you and me, what's he like? Is he Does he get you any gigs, good gigs, money? <sighs> he gets me petrol money. Does he? Is that what he does? Yeah. And sometimes I'll get full access to the tea urn oh. and an iron or something like that. Mm. Let me have a think about Ironing it. Ironing board. Yeah, I'll have a little think about it. Have a it. think. Yeah. While Charles awaits the traditional Cockney Fair being prepared by Ken as we speak, uh, let's hear a bit more music from Charles. Um, pick up your guitar, Charles, please. Uh, it's time now for... Under the covers, we're not talking lovers, cavorting, the thought brings a blush to my cheek. Under the covers is a chance to hear others Sing my songs and me to sing theirs once a week Feel a bit sleepy now. Um, Chaz, yeah. um, you've got to do a cover version now. Yeah. And one of my songs, it's Under the Covers. Yeah. What song of mine have you chosen, please? Shopkeepers in the North. Ooh. Is that the correct title? Um... I think it is, yeah. Yeah, shopkeepers in the north. Okay, all right. Yeah. When I go shopping in the north, I find the service is always splendid. A friendly smile you can count on while the right change is being intended. If anyone dares criticise their wares and never will be offended If it needs repairs they'll lend you theirs while yours is being mended Shopkeepers in the north are nice They ask after your kids and wife And when you've had a good chin wag they pop your provisions in your bag Hey all that Take it easy, see you tomorrow. But when I go shopping in London town, why do they look so haughty? Standing there with a nose in the air like you'd done something naughty. My, how do you do in the chip shop queue was receiving total silence. My take care cop in the butcher's shop was met with a look of violence. But shopkeepers in the north are nice. There you are, John. That's lovely, that. That's like a lullaby. Well, thank you, you very much. You turn it into a lullaby. Hey, that was you, Chaz. Maybe it was Dave. Do you want to check your phone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why don't you give him a call? OK. Because, um, All right. you know, you obviously you want to know how he's getting on. But I'll give him a... Do you want me to give him a call now? Well, if you did, then maybe um, I could say a quick hello. All right, OK. Do you think he'd uh, mind? 
All right, let me, let me give him a call. You can put it on speakerphone. Yeah, yeah, I Have can. Have you got do, that facility? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Hello, Dave? Is that you? Yeah, mate. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing the show now with John. Sorry, I couldn't make it, mate. I'm just Yeah, busy, I've mate. told him, yeah. He what? understands why you can't be here, yeah. but he wants to speak to you. Does he? <gasps> OK, then. Go on, then. Put him on. All right. I'll pass you over to him. Well, you can hear him anyway. Go on. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Thanks, Jazz. Hi, Dave. John, how you doing? I'm very well, thank you. No, it's nice to talk to you, mate. You're a bit busy, I understand. Yeah, I'm doing this and that and a bit of painting and a bit of, you know, mucking about. Well, if you're mucking about, then it doesn't sound very important. You should well, be here. Yeah, but my mucking about is, ain't a normal mucking about, see? My oh. mucking about is um, a sort of a different sort of mucking about that what other people we muck about do. Can you be more specific? Well... You're doing something with an old caravan, aren't you? Well, I'm just uh, yeah, I'm, uh, rebuilding one at the minute, John, yeah. Is it are these like uh, Romany caravans? Yeah, it's a proper old gypsy wagon, yeah. Yeah. Do you do sign writing as well? Yeah, sign writing and lining out, yeah, that's what I do. I've been doing that since I was a little boy, but apart from playing the banjo... I bet you're a bit pricey, aren't you? <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. No, I don't charge nothing for doing them. Really? Don't it's you? It's just to get, get me head in gear, you know, when I fed up playing the banjo or the guitar or something or whatever. Yeah. Then I go in the shed and I get the paint, paints out. All right. So I don't charge no money for them. Oh. I'm a good-hearted man. Do you do um, painting and decorating as well? No, I don't do that. That's, no. that's, that's boring. I'll get someone else to do that. Can't well, be well, doing that, can I? No, you can't, really. I'm mucking about up ceilings and ladders and all that sort of thing. No, I don't like nothing like that. I like to sit down and stall with a cup of tea and, and uh, my line, lining brushes in there and just get going. Well, I don't blame you, Dave. Um, <laughs> but, listen, um, Chaz has told us all about your um, long and illustrious partnership. Yeah. But uh, what he didn't tell me, that you were in a band called the Rolling Stones. Yeah, it was, um, funny enough, the first... Before uh, they were, before the, you know, the famous ones. Yeah, they was now. And we changed the name because we thought it was silly. But um, <laughs> we changed oh. the name. And the first gig we ever did was at a place, a pub called the Britannia in Edmonton. And that was the first gig that Chaz ever did. It was a very, it's a coincidence. And you were billed as the Rolling Stones? Yeah. Oh. You must be kicking yourselves. <laughs> I don't think so, John. I don't think well, so. Well, can you not wrestle the name back? <laughs> no, nah, you can't have that. It's dopey, isn't it? You know. Well, they stole the name off you. Uh, they did. They, they did. They thieved it. That's a, that's a fact. But um, they weren't to know that we was doing the same thing over the other side of London, you see. So we let them off with it. Right. So what, what did you change it to? The Raiders. Oh, yeah. That's a good name, isn't it? That's a much better name. <laughs> much better name than the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Are you in the country, oh. Yeah, a little bit. I'm struggling here. You walk around with hobnail boots on? I well, oh. I'll definitely do that. Who's yeah. John talking to? Yeah, got me up. Oh, no, it's Dave, isn't it? Sounds ready to do Oh, I can't cook in this pearly king suit. Oh, it's chafing me. Oh. That's yeah, better. I'd love that, but, you know... I've got instant mash powder all over me afro. Um, I've just been talking to Chaz. Because I, I want to do extra work. Oh! You, you want know. to do some extra work? Yeah, and, and uh, he's... You just get another agent. Just, you know, Ken's rubbish. What? No, he's... You know, small time. Small yeah, time? Yeah, you time, agent. You did right there. Right! Oh. Oh. Give me the phone, John! No! Oh, Give oh, me the phone! Oh. The eggs, they cut the mustard for you. Hello? Is that Dave? <laughs> it's Ken Worthington here, Dave. <laughs> um, hey, listen, don't laugh, because uh, I've just been speaking to Chaz. Go on. And he's uh, interested in me representing you. What? Is he? Yes. <laughs> Would you like oh, that? Ken? Chaz said it's OK. Give me the phone. That's OK by me. Because he's more no. of a business man than no. me, so no. he would probably... You hurt me wrist. Well, John you serves you right. He thinks it's worthwhile. No. I'll go along with that. Nasty. Dave, please don't take any notice of Ken. Uh, he's speaking out of turn. Is he? Yeah, Chaz never said that. Yes, he did. Oh. Uh, he, he said, said you're... He no, he said... This uh, outrageous. You know, you're represented. Give it to you. Ken, do you mind? <laughs> Dave, please. You're an idiot, Ken. No, I've been advised against you. No. Yes. You must reconsider. No, I don't think so. I think we've changed Ken. our mind Stop now. Stop it, Ken. Give it me. Oh, we oh, uh, we oh, saved oh. the idea. We don't want to do it now. You're damaging Chaz's mobile. Yeah, yeah go careful. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's John's fault. Oh, it's not. It is. It's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Doc. Get oh. me phone back. Look. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. What's going on there? 
Sorry. You two are going to have to sort something out between you because you're always bickering with each other, but I've already told you that. Can you hear me? You ain't not answering me, are you? Because I come here today, they're great. Having a laugh, having a few sing songs, and I keep get, getting mixed up with these. You do. With these. The we do keep falling out. You're right. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, you've been with Dave for a long, long time, and 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 well, I'm sure you have your odd tiff, but you know, Them you've stayed together. And, out. Yeah, yes. we might have had a couple of little arguments about football or something like mm. that, but nothing, you know, nothing serious. You're only, you're only here once, aren't you? Yeah, we are. We are only here once. That's dead right. But I've got to go. I've got things to do. I can't hang around here all day. Chaz, kiss a ding. Under the covers is a chance to hear others sing my songs and me to sing theirs once a week. Chaz, it's very interesting what you're playing, but I have to say, it's my turn. Um, OK, John. My turn to shine. Oh! I was hoping it would be my turn to shine, John. Oh. I'm ready to do Ken in the Conservatory now. Oh. I thought it would be nice. Ken. Especially as we're friends again. Yes, I know, but your timing's terrible, Ken. We've come to the end of the show. No. Big finish, you know. Oh. Next week, Ken. I'll start the medley, Chaz. Oh. Yeah, where are you going, mate? But you are welcome to join in when you feel confident. OK. And you should feel confident because they're all your tunes. Well, I built my life around you, did what I thought was right But you never cared about me, now I've seen the light Oh, darling Oh, there ain't no pleasing you Oh, hey, that's good, isn't it? Bit of jazz here Why didn't you do that on the original? I will now It works well Yeah, right, what about this one? I don't care I don't care if he comes round here I've got my beer in the sideboard here Let mother sort it out if he comes round oh, it's too many words, isn't it? Well, mother sort yeah, it out you, if you've got to speed that bit up a bit Oh, hey Yeah What was this, though? Oh, you won't stop talking Why won't you give it a rest? Ready, 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 ready That's right ready, ready. You got more rabbit than Sainsbury's Or, indeed, Neto Why do they don't, they don't have any? Ready, Time you got it off your chest Now you were kind of oh, No, John Why don't you say Snooka Lupe? It'd be even worse than this one, Ken oh, Look, I'll keep busking While you read the end credits All right John Shuttleworth's lounge music Was written and performed by Graham Fellows With special guests Charles Hodges and Dave Peacock The producer was Dawn Ellis And it was a chic Ken production For BBC Radio 4 Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Oh, lovely. Do you like I that? Tell you what, that was, that was top. Oh, 